abundance. The Shadow Dragons have a hideout in Docktown. We should check in, see if there's news on the Venatori. Already? They work fast, and with that relic case off their hands, they'll work even faster. Meet you in Docktown. Rook, Ilario sent word. He's got intel on Zara. He wants to meet up. Fancy a trip to Treviso? Sounds like fun. and Strife sent word. Some of the artifacts we have in storage are acting up. They need a hand to make sure they stay calmed and don't rip a hole in reality. Anyways, we can go whenever you're ready. Quiet. I know. Just thinking. But I said we'd talk, didn't I? I... I heard a voice. After we saved that man. It told me I was touched by the ancients and that I should seek it out. Seek her out. Do you think this voice has answers about your magic? She must! What if she's like me? Maybe that's why only I heard her. She said to look to those closest to the stone to locate her. Meaning? The children of the stone. Dwarves. Not surfacers like me, but the ones from the deep roads. Almost ten years ago, a shaper from Orzammar bonded with a titan. Titans? Ancients? You think it's related? It would make sense, wouldn't it? Volta. That was the shaper's name. Maybe there are more like her down there. I'd like for you to get the answers you're looking for. <sighs> Me too. I know some people in Orzammar. I'll reach out. If I hear anything, you'll be the first to know.
Aren't these the old folk arguments? Receiving your message was quite... The surprise... Veil jumpers are in trouble. They could use our help, if we can find them. This map is a good start. Okay, we all know why we're here, right? Make sure that the artifacts we calmed stay calmed. We know. This should be easy. Yanarl, you and Strife take the first set. Irlin and Hamuel take the second. Rook and I will handle the rest. I'm still a little confused about what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, of course you are. Sorry, Veil Jumpers hadn't been doing this before, and I organized it after you left. We're going to check the Crystal Alignment, Fade Connection, and the Lyrium Reserves. Has alignment ever been a problem? Even once? It's not worth the risk. Even if it's only off by a little bit, we know what happens. Happened once, and we can't even be sure the Crystal Alignment was why. Look, I know what you're saying, but maybe if we... We check it! Every. Single. Time. I I'm sorry. You're right. I just... Sorry. Forget it. Are you okay, Ballara? I'm fine. It's my fault, really. I'm sorry, Ballara. Let's go. We want to get back quickly. Of course. See you soon. So what was that all about? What was what all about? That tension, it seemed pretty heavy. I it's nothing, don't worry about it. Here we are, the artifact vault. Or one of them, at least. I almost missed this place. And all the holes in the walls. Repairing reality doesn't leave a lot of time for repairing walls. At least until someone falls through a hole in the floor. Random example. Okay, see those two power crystals? The ones that aren't glowing? There should be a couple of replacements, charged ones, in the room. If you grab them, I'll make sure the artifact stays calmed. Okay, new power crystal is in. Great, and the artifact didn't collapse the room. Forgot how much fun the whole veil jumper thing is. Safer than fighting God. It's at least. Point taken. And there we go. So it's calmed now? Should be. And it'll stay that way for a while. And in the meantime, it won't tear open reality. Okay, let's keep going. Sure, sounds good. So it's nice out, at least. You know, ignoring that reality itself is paper thin here. Hard to ignore that. Right? Found one. Great. Bring it over here and put it in the socket. So 
what did this artifact do? Before it was calmed, I mean. It would bring flaming rocks down all around it, every 30 minutes. And for some reason, you'd hear chanting while it did it. Not sure what that was about. Okay, reserves replaced, which means there. Everything's looking good. Thank you, by the way, for helping out. You have better things to do, I know. Yeah, sure, there's bigger problems out there. Doesn't mean this isn't important. I appreciate that. Okay, one more to go. Not too far now. Thank you for giving me this chance to help people. You were already kind of doing that, as a veil jumper. Sort of, but it was never as big, you know? As grand? Helping you? Well, we're helping lots of people everywhere. I like that. got the hang of calming artifacts. I heard you preferred a more direct approach. Smash one dangerous artifact with a giant rock and you get... Hey, Rook. What do you mean? Um, never mind. Found the other crystal. Great. Slot it in. You okay? Oh, I'm fine. Or will be. It takes a lot out of you, all those little magic bits. Not hard, just exhausting. But it needs to be done, and done right. Right. Keeping our Lithan from disintegrating is a big part of why I joined up. But other Veil Jumpers can do this. Why not let them? Because... Maybe then I can make up for it. Make up for what? For not being good enough? When it counted? I'm sorry, I can't. Not right now. Laura, I'm... My brother. What? Back there, you asked me why I did this. Why I put myself out here. For him. For my brother. Wherever he is. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. It's okay. Well, no, it it's not okay. But not because of you. Syrian. That was his name. We were the same, you know? In a lot of ways. We wanted to learn everything. About Elvenon, the magic, the people. All of it. We heard about the Nadis Drathalin, figured it had the answers, or some of them. Then Arlathan started going wrong. 
I joined the Veil Jumpers to help people. And he kept looking, kept putting himself in danger. It should have been safe. I know, I checked that artifact three times. I guess it should have been four. Artifacts started pulsing. He was too close. I couldn't find my way in. They called him a hero. Wanted to make a statue. They thought it would make it all okay. I'm sorry it doesn't feel like enough. It's something, even if it doesn't fix it. Syrian, he... He felt responsible for our people, for me, my little brother. He thought he needed to take care of me. He called me Bora Shivan, hummingbird in Elven, said it was because I could never sit still. But he loved me for it, said it kept him thinking, trying to keep up. And he helped me too. He kept me focused, anchored. And now he's gone. Because I wasn't good enough. It's not your fault. You have to know that. Then why does it feel like it was? You lost someone important. Guilt's part of that. But if you don't learn to get past it, You'll drown. I wish it were that easy. I've tried. Told myself I couldn't have done anything, and my head believes it. But my heart doesn't. So I try to make up for it. Honor him. Learn about our people. Find the truth. Maybe when I do, I'll feel it. Feel what? That he forgives me. And that I deserve it. We should head back. Rook? Thank you. For being here. Better be ready.
That's a win. This is where Taenor was headed. There's light here. She didn't mention that. Maybe she didn't know. didn't make it. It seems he managed to destroy the relic. Kaynor and Gus must be out here somewhere. We'll keep looking. I think that's Taenor. Sorry, Taenor. You didn't deserve this. One more Veil Jumper to find. The Tracker, Gus. Let's hope we can still save him. What's that there? By those bushes? A collar? This says... Gus. Wait. The tracker Taenor talked about was a Nug. Oros's companion Nug. <sighs> Let's get you home, little one. I hope Taenor is all right. I haven't seen her in days. We have no defense against that. Tis true. The gods' workings project elements of the worst kind of blood magic. 
and what that's Gus. I wondered where he was. Haven't seen Oros or Taino in a while either. Dangerous. I'm sorry. Gus was the only one I could save. To disaster. Oh, creators gods. have mercy. So you say. Poor Gus. Do you think he understands? I. I suppose I'll look after him now. Oros wouldn't want him to be lonely. Thank you, Rook. Have a look. Good luck. Keep your head out. Have a look, and keep my stores full. Safe travels. Occupy. The insult of it. It's more than insulting. It's salt in the wound. And that is my purview. Templars really not have authority over mages in Tevinter? What happens if there's blood magic? What do they do? Depends on the Templar. Depends on who's bought their loyalty. 
What do you do when the authorities can't be trusted to do the right thing? That's how I keep busy. Come on, Ilario will meet us at Cafe Pietra. It's not that far from here. We have time before he arrives. I wouldn't mind looking around a while. Find that the markets girl are running. for the finest Good. homes. I need to get some things while we're here. Treviso. I barely had time to look around when we returned from the ossuary. This place, does it feel very different? In some ways, more than I expected, but then, perhaps it's me. The right finishing touches make a home. Anything catch your eye? Welcome. Mariana and I run the best fruit stand in Treviso. As you say. Should get back to Lucanus. Plant for Harding's garden. Spearmint is supposed to cone bad dreams. It's good in desserts, too. So you and Ilario are cousins? Yes, but we're more like brothers. Katarina took us both in a long time ago now. Good, good. Can I interest you in something shiny? The anthem almost shut us down because they don't lie. Here's the place. Bellara mentioned the dateless seafood recipe she wants to make. The demon of Virantium is grocery shopping for the team? Have you seen what they eat? It's a miracle you didn't all starve before you hired me. When we met, it didn't seem like Ilario and Katarina were close. It was hard to be close to her, even for me. And I was her favorite. Welcome to the Dapper Duelist. While magic is outlawed under the Anthem, we have some excellent casting leather for display purposes. Oh. 
All our clothing is resistant to bloodstains. A good selection. Fresh fruit. Nev only eats fried fish. You'd think a detective would have discovered scurvy by now. Is that everything on the list? Yes. And Ilario should be here by now. Let's go before he gets himself in trouble. You can't buy something for everyone but yourself. Here, this is for you. A wyvern tooth dagger? I loved wyverns as a boy. Katarina would never let me have one of these, though. Welcome. Whether you're looking for functional blades or authorized display replicas, you're in the right place. Cafe Piedra is just ahead. That's where we're meeting your cousin? Why not the casino? House Cantori has many talents. Making coffee is not one of them. Finally. I thought you might leave me here all by my lonesome. Please, you think I'd ever pass up Cafe Pietra's coffee? You see, Rook? My cousin is all stomach and no heart. Don't mind him. Ilario cannot appreciate anything but himself. They serve a specialty roast here, Andural's breath. Bitter and sweet, like a kiss goodbye. You should try it. Bitter's good. Chocolate is better. They have chocolata calda. It was my favorite drink as a child. I think you're shaming me, but I'm ordering the Choco Chico thing. <laughs> so is there a reason we're not talking about Alario's information or what? We're still being spied on. No, the last one just left. Couldn't take your coffee talk. So, you have something? The crows I sent after Sarah have picked up her trail. They say she's gone to Varantium. I have a friend who's very good at finding people. Katarina was first talent. This is crow business. We can handle it. Apparently not. Your lead is no good, cousin. You have better information? We're compromised. There's no other way Zara could even touch Katerina. You need your eyes here, in Antiva. Zara would never be foolish enough to stay. Not with you out for blood. Of course she would. If the crows protecting her are here. Rook, reason with him, would you? He's been paranoid. I am not paranoid. She came after me. She came after Katerina. She will come for you too. If it'll make you feel better, I'll clean house, all right? Leave this to me. He's gone. Of course he is. Ilario always caves under pressure. Zara's not going to get Ilario. And she's not getting away with anything she's done. I promise. Don't promise. But thank you. <sighs> mm. 
Bitter and sweet, you called that blend. Like a kiss goodbye. So, what would a first kiss be? Honey and lavender cream. Sweet. Intriguing. And you? How would you describe it? I haven't had enough first kisses to say. There's just never been... well... In matters of the heart, one must be discerning. When it's right, you know. I've always thought that to live truly is to live fully. But even before I was captured, my life was not really my own. So much had been determined for me. Being grandson to the first Talon must have come with a lot of baggage. And when I proved I could carry it, the expectations only grew. It can't have been easy. But it's forged a man of strength and principle. That's no bad thing. Not when I hear that from you. How's your chocolate calda? Just sweet enough to intrigue me. Ready to head back to the lighthouse? Almost. Oh, Minrathus needs one of these. You can't force these spaces. They just kind of form where people are. I could have daggers in a hundred necks by nightfall. No doubt, but more necks would present themselves tomorrow. I have other daggers. Am I interrupting? Forgive Taya. She gets testy when a contract is delayed. Neither of you strike me as the bloodthirsty sort. Our shared enemies deserve our worst. You want help against the gods. We want Treviso free. We now think they may be the same problem. The occupation has a face. The Antam commander, Keith Lord Butcher Dathrata. But Viago thinks killing him outright is short-sighted. The Butcher took the city suspiciously fast. Removing him is useless if someone else can repeat that, with the help of gods or something else. Despite it being the outcome, assassination is not about killing, it's about sending a message. And what message would that be? The Crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. Sounds like you think the occupation wasn't just about force. Cruel as the Butcher is, he didn't break the city with a siege. It was sudden and complete. Like he had it all mapped. Where to march and what to close off to choke resistance. He had inside information? Spies? He had something. And until we know what it was, 
killing him isn't the contract. Gods care about taking Treviso? The Butcher wants Treviso. The gods may just want the Antam. But Antam distrust magic and outright fear demons. They should be enemies. Power can turn anyone against their own interests. Their own people. You're in charge? And Tiva has a king. And the power of a king is enforced by armies. Antiva has no army. It has the crows. There's a reason Antivan coins have portraits of guild leaders, not royalty. We're patriots. Crows can't field a battalion, but we protect our nation our way. Butcher Death Rada. What do you know about him? The Antam army fractured, split among warlords, and he seems to have kept the most traditional discipline. And the rank and file like it. His numbers keep growing, but the Butcher himself is odd. Odd how? He gives daily speeches about how the occupation is somehow merciful. And the way he talks, it's familiar. It's like he thinks he belongs here. And I won't have it. Helping the Crows helps everyone in the long run. What's the first step to your message? We have a scout named Dareth. He said he was onto something the Butcher was hiding. He was in the Drawn District, so that's a place to start. Find our crow and help with his contract. Find your crow? Then what? We break this occupation. We craft the message one step at a time. And when we finally assassinate the person who leashed Treviso, that death will tell everyone. The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. I've noted the location of Dareth and his cousin, Jacobus, in the Drown District. They're always together. Jacobus will be eager to help. Perhaps too eager for one so young. Can you blame him? We've all lost too much to this occupation. Notes on the circle road case. The murdered magister's aide? Killed with an arrow instead of magic. Hard to get an angle like that. It is. Where would you take it from? I don't know the place that well, but there's a tower not far that would get a clean shot and good cover. But if you were angry and in a hurry, if the shot were more lucky than planned. Hmm. Well, there's that bridge. Wait. Why are you asking me? We're not he alone. Was my cousin. We've got Anton between us and our crows. Are they not gonna be there for long? Coming at range. Attack! Don't worry. 
worry. Kaya and Viago sent us. Who are you? I just can't kill all of the Autumn. They're shooting for us. They killed Darren. They killed my cousin. They're weak on the left. Got them. Ranged attackers. Done. Are you Jacobus? Darren, my cousin. They. Please, you have to finish Darren's contract. It's about the butcher. My cousin was going to spy on the butcher. He told me we'd pick up the contract from a dead drop. But then... Someone has to finish this for Darren. Please. We will. You should get back to the diamond. I will, just... Just give me a minute. We should... That note said Dareth should pick up the contract at the usual place across from Taya and Viago. Just follow the marks. Maybe a mark one crow would leave for another? I saw something like that on a wall we passed earlier. Let's go look. That looks like a crow mark. A kind of quick splatter you can throw? That's gotta be Dareth's trail. Keep an eye out. Another mark this way. Not even an army stops the Treviso market. I've always loved market days, except for when they're occupied by Antam. I cannot help but flinch whenever I use my skills. You think? Ah, this time he's definitely gone full demon. Here's another crow mark. You were saying? 
You cannot help but flinch whenever I use my skills. You think? Ah. This is where the marks lead. Dareth's contract must be here somewhere. The Butcher is making poison. Comic. The poison that destroys your mind? That comic? If I were the Butcher, it'd be a good way to keep people in line. We cannot let the Butcher unleash this on Treviso. He won't. The Ontown brought in a comic master to mix the poison. He's at the garrison. Stop him there, before this goes any further. Almost there.
We're in. Let's find the Comic Master. Outsider, time to test my gift. I am will made flesh, so much flesh. Things first. Let's destroy the rest of the poison. Then we figure out what was going on here. That's the last of the poison, thankfully. Let's look for anything else that explains what's happening. Wait, this note says that wasn't all the comic. The Butcher's angry because some went missing. What? Who stole it? No idea. But the note does mention the Butcher's inside traitor. The occupation had help. 
Taya and Viago need to know they were right. Are you out of your minds? Someone had to act. I told you crows to stay out of this. Out of what? Defending our home? If we had a stronger civil government instead of a bunch of circus criminals, the Antom wouldn't have a foothold in the first place. You're responsible for the city? This is Governor Ivenchi. They have concerns. My concern is how you've endangered the city. We're defending Antiva. These protections are in place for the good of everyone. You act without oversight. We crows are the oversight. And yet here we are, awash in on, Tom. And now you've angered the butcher. We have other enemies, too. The gods are involved, corrupting some Antom, making them monsters. And the Butcher? You two were right. He had help taking the city. Human traitors. I didn't want to believe it. Killing the Butcher does nothing if someone could just sell us out again. I'd start right here. You Talons are known for infighting and betrayal. You're accusing them? One of their crows died for this contract. That's enough. Rook, thank you for finishing that contract. The only reward we have is to ask you for more. We're allies. Of course I'll help. Ivenchi is right about one thing. The Butcher will not like that we're fighting back. We need to be ready. Rook, I will have every crow tracking this traitor and the gods, and we will send word when we find something. The stakes are too high. This should be left to proper officials. Go back to filing trade receipts, Ivenchi. The crows rule Antiva. And Treviso will be free. With or without you, Governor. I cannot help but flinch whenever I use my skills. You think, ah, this time he's definitely gone full demon. It's not personal. If you're watching me in battle... Let's go get him! <laughs> you feel death, Moses!
You cannot help but flinch whenever I use my skills. You see, ah, this time he's definitely gone full demon. It's not personal. If you're watching me in battle, you leave yourself open to our actual enemies. The power of the demon-possessed assassin should make up for how twitchy everyone else gets, right? <laughs>
Better get this where it's needed.
The spirits are returning. And thriving again. Good for them. Said we should monitor the situation in the crossroads, so of course I volunteered.
infestation. Scout Harding glows now? Is that a thing everyone... A sharp eye, a quick mind, and luck. That's most of the job. So, do you think I could become one? An investigator? It takes a certain amount of focus, too. Oh, okay, well, maybe not then. I still can't believe it. I'm talking to THE Nev Gallus. And that's sweet, but I don't need the flattery. Right, just a person I'll try to remember. Rook. Here to join us. What are you two up to? Oh, we're talking. Just two normal people talking about things. You know, very casually. It turns out Bellara knows my work. Or at least the parts that make the papers. It all sounds so exciting. The things you've done, the people you've helped. Those are the ones that go well. You don't hear about the rest. Everyone wants a scandal, or a happy ending. Or both, like the time you told the Marquis to- Hold on. I don't think Rook's interested in that story. Rook's a little interested. Look, I'd love to, honest, but that story needs the right atmosphere. After dark over bad coffee, or expensive wine, take your pick. Speaking of, What's the situation with cooking, exactly? Are we on a rotation, or what? I can help out. I'm a pretty good cook, with some things at least. Well, most of the time. Sometimes I get distracted and things burn. Oh, good. It's not just me. Do you mostly cook Dalish foods? I haven't had a chance to try many. Sometimes. Not a lot of options when you're out in the forest. But I've learned a lot of different cooking styles. And Teven, Ravani. Oh, I even learned how to make Tevinter Kachapuri. Wait, real Kachapuri? The hollowed out bread? Three kinds of cheese? I love Kachapuri. What about you, Rook? What are you craving?
Wild meat and mushrooms sounds pretty good. Really? M maybe I'll make some. Lots of herbs out in Arlathan. Just don't pick the glowing ones. You should have an assistant. Someone to make sure it doesn't burn. See if it tastes right. That sort of thing. Nev Gallus! Helping me cook? Again, the flattery... Right, just a person. Got it. Great. Now, let's see what we can scrounge up. Rook, do you have a minute? Of course. Something wrong? Thea wants to meet. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. She wants to plan Katerina's funeral. Oh, right. If you don't mind, I could use some backup. In case Spike gets out of hand. Let's not keep Thea waiting. Jacobus, how is he? It is good, Lord Valdaren. Air says Jacobus is coming with him. Everything all right. Good. Good, you're here. Thank you for making the arrangements, Dea. For Katerina? How could I do otherwise? I'm so sorry, Lucanis. This must be such a blow. Rook, thank you for coming with him. I need Juan de la Muerte to plan this. His cousin has been no help at all. I'm sorry, Thea. This is just... too much right now. If there's anything I can do, just say the word. You're such a dear. I hope these two are paying attention. Thea. Don't flirt with my colleague. Jealous? Fine. Do business, then. There's a lot to plan. But first, I need the ashes. Ashes? Make it help us. Yes, the ashes. Katerina's ashes. From the cremation? Oh, yes. Of course. I'll get them to you right away. Ilario, what happened? What do you mean? Katerina? How? How did the Venatori get to her? When? Where? In the estate? In the city? How did they get past our people? What did they use? Poison? Blades? I need to know. Cousin, stop. You can't dwell on this. It'll drive you mad. I'm not dwelling. Zara killed the first Talon. I have to know how if I'm going to stop her. I told you. I'm handling it. Boys, enough of this. We have other things to discuss. My apologies, Andradea. Continue without me. I'll get you the ashes. How are you holding up? I'll be fine. Better once we kill Zara Renata. It's him I'm worried about. Hilario can be a handful. But this? The only time I've seen him like this was when Lucanis died. You're worrying, aren't you? What will people say if they hear the demon of Virantium has a big, soft heart? He's been careless at times. 
but never when his own life was on the line. Zara took down the first talon. Anyone could be next. And my cousin doesn't want to think about it? You have a point. It's not like Ilario to ignore a knife coming at him. What do you need from me for the funeral? Come. I'll get us some drinks and we can make the arrangements. Our house owes you for handling all of this. Caterina was family. Can you imagine what she'd say if she saw us all like this? She'd be furious, especially at Ilario, as usual. How did you stay on her good side? <laughs> what good side? To hear Caterina tell it, Lucanis can do no wrong. It's easy to look good standing next to my cousin. I'll have my people keep an eye on him for you. Thank you, Thea. Go on. I'll let you know if something comes up. Fewer people than I expected. Let's find Asher. Asher? The Viper. He prefers to be called Asher in private. Said I could tell you. Trouble in the Anvalanim. Darkspawn. But those tunnels are safe passage for... I know. We've had to close that entrance. We can help. We've recently had to deal with Blight. Those Darkspawn have to be destroyed before they get out into the city. If you get through, signal the all clear at the hidden door. That's because all the magic that keeps the Archon's palace. This is troubling. Darkspawn in the city. And in one of the worst places. The shadows rely on those tunnels to rescue people. Odd. On Valanim is the ancient elven word for womb. Huh. Interesting. Welcome to the shop. I'm Lorelei. Anything you need, just ask. Till next time. Found all this myself. Treasure. Don't touch unless you're buying. for treasure. The Anvalanim should have an entrance this way. The passage is hidden by a wall carving. Keep an eye out. Venatori, why are they so close to the shop? Beautiful work there. There. Is that the wall carving you mentioned? That's the one. 
There's a switch behind the serpent's head on the left. Got it. Like the ossuary, but without the view. Did it. We can get through now. Ooh. I got a point on me. Let's kill those shadow dragon rats so I can leave right. this place. Shadow dragon agents, get down here with us. Get them. They're waiting for reinforcements. Reinforcements. We can't let them reach the shadow dragon hideout. Even more venatory. We have to take up the leader. I know, and that worries me. At least that seems to be the last of them. It should be safe for the shadows to use the entrance again. Let's find it and tell them to open up. There it is, the hidden entrance back into the shop. It's Rook. All clear down here. Nice work. I'll get the door. Good that you're still standing. Best let Asher know. How did the Venatory find the Shadow Dragon's hideout? Isn't it a secret? We help the people in Docktown. They know where we are. Someone might have talked about the shop. People spreading rumors, that's easy to handle. But Darkspawn, that's different. Saved our skins there, Rook. Those Darkspawn could have destroyed us. It wasn't just Darkspawn. Venatori were there too, and they weren't fighting each other. How is that possible? Darkspawn attack all living things. Darkspawn are blighted. If the gods control the blight, they might control the Darkspawn.
Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. The Venatori could have magic that protects them. Or worse, they could be allied somehow. If you're looking for answers about the Venatori, I may have a lead. A warehouse on the other side of the city. Lots of cult activity. And some of them were spotted headed towards a shop. Could be a coincidence, or it could be something more. It's worth a look. Agreed. Rook? Let's go. The Viper, or Asher, I suppose. Is he the leader of the Shadow Dragons? One of them. He made his name freeing slaves and supporting their rebellions. So the Viper's real name is Asher? A middle name. He calls himself Viper for first impressions. Or so he says. What do you mean? Asher just doesn't have the same impact, does it? moving before more of them come crawling out. be another way in. <laughs> Lots of Venatori. We must be close. All the Venatori guarding the place. 
Right. There's our way in. Great. The Venatoria up to something. Time to break it up. Darkspawn. They're using magic to control that Darkspawn. We have to stop it. Darkspawn and Venatori. Let's search the place and figure out what they were doing. This explains the Darkspawn we keep finding in the catacombs. At least they don't know where the Shadow Dragons are. Exactly. Commander Lenos of the Minrathus Templars is being paid off by Venatori. Damn it. Look at this. Draining into the tunnels below the city, perhaps? One more way the Venatori released blight into our tunnels. I'll tell the other shadows. The gods gave the Venatori a relic they can use to control Darkspawn. Hey, Rook. Is everything all right in there? Rook, I thought I'd see if you needed help. Did you find anything in there? The Risen Gods taught the Venatori how to control Darkspawn. Explains why the hideout was attacked. We found documents from the Knight Commander. I knew he was crooked. I didn't think he was actually Venatori. Let's head back to the shop. We'll discuss things there. We managed to catch the stragglers fleeing the warehouse. They'll think twice before coming back here. What else did you find? The Venatori serve Elgernon and Gillenane, like we thought. They gave the cult control over Darkspawn. Great. Sounds like the Venatori are going to be even more trouble.
Is there something I can do? The Risen Gods are my responsibility too. How do we know we can even trust you? You're not from here. You don't know Minrathus like we do. And we know as little about you as we do these Risen Gods you unleashed. Now, now, what is it they say? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. The cult has its hooks deep in the city. Venatory backers sit in the Magisterium chambers, and now they wield power given to them by the gods. We'll have to get along if there's any chance of surviving this. May, what are you doing here? You promised you'd lay low. Tried it, didn't much care for it. Nice to meet you. I'm Rook. There's trouble in Minrathis. Venatori and Risen Gods. Rook's helping us with it. Mavaris is one of the Shadow Dragon leaders. Mavaris Talani, formerly Magister Mavaris Talani, at your service. Wait, formerly? My enemies conspired to have my Magisterium seat stripped for me. We can talk about it later, if you want. My concerns feel petty when stacked against Risen Gods. The Shadow Dragons have a lot to discuss, but you, Rook? are expected at the Swan. Me? The Cobbled Swan? Why? The First Warden is here to speak with you. The First Warden? Let's hope we can actually get some help with the Blight. Come back when you can. I think we'll need your help again. Affecting their own. Has Algernon given them? Some sort of protection. They're telling us to watch out for Darkspawn. Will we get in? Any help from the Grey Wardens? But what if the Dark Swan come back? I'll stand in the door. Suggestion. It was a possible lead. Finding things and tracking Venatori. That's what I'm here for. After all the jobs I did him in Rathis, the last thing I expected was a Devinter me. Oh, 
Finding things and tracking Venatori. That's what I'm here for. After all the jobs I did him in Rathis, the last thing I expected was a Tevinter mage to be involved in breaking me out. Well, good. I hate for assassins to find me predictable. Docktown's never short on nightlife, is it? It's when the streets are most alive. And when I'm likely working. The nightlife was always more Hilario's thing. He said I should get out more. Fulfilling crow contracts didn't count. Let me know if you want anything else. Minratos has gone to the dogs. The apple doesn't hell dance act astounds audience. Did the Magisterium explain why the Alcon is going I am Jowin Glastrum, First Warden and Supreme Commander of Weishaupt. I received word of your team's request for Grey Warden assistance after an incursion of the Blight at Demeter's Crossing. I looked into you. An adventurous veil jumper, best known for discovering, then losing, an invaluable map. I'd imagine that caused a certain resentment among your veil jumper superiors. The expedition was in trouble. I knew going back to help my fellow jumpers likely meant losing that map. I wanted that ancient knowledge, but I wouldn't risk lives for it. Explain to me how a veil jumper poking around in elven ruins unleashed the blight. We've been tracking a mage named Solus. He's actually several thousand years old. In elven mythology, he's known as Fen Harel, the Dreadwolf, God of Lies. That is a number of titles. Well, Fen Harel is elven for Dreadwolf, so that only counts as one. But yes, you're not wrong. Anyway, he wanted to tear down the veil and restore the ancient elven empire. We stopped his ritual. I did not come here to listen to fairy tales. I am here because of the Blight. Right, but it all ties together. See, when we disrupted the ritual, Solus got trapped in the Fade. But two of the elven gods got out, Elgernon and Gilanane, we think, and they're blighted. Why would elven gods be blighted? The ancient elven gods used the blight. That's why Solus imprisoned them. The point is that the gods are making the blight worse. Demeta's crossing was just the start. That's why we need the Grey Wardens. I suspected more politicking from the remnants of the Inquisition. I see now that I was wrong. I'm really glad to hear that. It is clear that whatever you did to unleash the Blight has corrupted your already weak mind. Okay, wait. You will be taken to Weishaupt and placed under heavy guard until the danger you caused by unleashing the Blight passes. No, please, you can't do that. I assure you, I can. I don't know how much time we have. The gods are doing something with the Blight. We need to stop them. Let me tell you something about the Blight. It is evil, it is implacable, and above all, it is predictable. The Blight has not changed in over a thousand years. The Grey Wardens will defeat it, as they always do. And we will do so without you causing confusion with your deranged conspiracy theories. I suggest you come along quietly. Adamant Fortress 941, Dragon. The Grey Wardens attempted to raise an army of demons. Hardly the models of good judgment yourselves, are you? Everyone knows Warden Commander Clarell acted alone at Adamant Fortress. Acted alone, you say? Imagine if everyone were to see the letter I discovered where you authorize her actions. I wonder how that might complicate the narrative. 
Are you prepared to risk the security of the Grey Wardens for this deluded girl? You may be surprised to learn that I care very little about the security of the Grey Wardens. Stay away from the Blight, and do not pester the Grey Wardens with any more of your nonsense. He seems upset. Was it something I said? I was close. Wasn't looking forward to being dragged off to a Grey Warden dungeon. Who should I be thanking for the assist? Magister Dorian Parvis. At your service. A mutual friend thought you might require some support. Mavaris Talani? Of the Shadow Dragons? The very same. What's your relation to the Shadow Dragons? About a decade ago, Mayvaris and I started a political faction called the Lucerni. We were going to change to Vinter for the better. Everyone would recognize the common sense benefits of our approach, and we'd all live happily ever after. I take it that didn't happen. Mayvaris was framed, kicked out of the Magisterium, and the Lucerni were dissolved. So she took the movement underground. The Shadow Dragons. Since I still haunt the Magisterium, that makes me the Shadow Dragon's man on the inside. So now what? The first Warden tried to have me locked up. I need the Wardens on my side. <laughs> Jowen Glastrum is not the Order. He's more politician than Warden. No great warden worth the name sits in a Menrathus lounge sipping wine. You need the wardens? Look for the ones out there fighting the blight. In the meantime, the Shadow Dragons will keep a close watch on the Venatori. Good luck. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Only the Veil stood between us and a world of blighted darkness. But on this side, the gods could only tap a trickle. They had to turn that trickle into a flood. They sure could have used Solus's dagger to rip open the Fade. But some foolish mortal had taken it. So. They'd have to create a dagger of their own. Drowning the world in blight was just a matter of time. I need to talk to Varric.
everyone still alive? Souls alone as the light left. I was there, less alone. It's a spirit of compassion. My own name. But what of theirs? Three I found, felled by demon claws, murdered. A connection I cannot see. I have impressions. But if I learn more, answers might unfold. This one, green against gray stone. Rain, nourish, how she watched it bloom. Find who she was. We've got a trail. We just need to follow it. Hortensia. She was a gardener. Green against gray. In death. Desperate, but still found hope. There are others. I would know more of them. Venatori, attack! They're close. Trust me, but it was your idea to hire me. I made the suggestion. Brooke made the call. Why? Are you worried I have ulterior motives? That I planted the idea in Rook's head for my own ends? That wasn't where this was going. Really? Because I'd have questions. A Tevintim mage breaks a demon-possessed assassin out of prison. What's her angle? Mierda. And people say I'm overly suspicious. Another of those Fen Harel altars.
that's done. Another demon killing. Another champion. We have got many.
stopped. That's a win. Better get this where it's needed. Passion. This one. Curiosity undimmed. Just one more answer. Truth and story beneath the ruins. Find who he was. I will find you then.
they left a trail. Sloppy, but useful. Property of Marcus, scholar. Story beneath the ruins. Fear for the future. And yet, he continued. For himself and for her. A faint connection begins to bind them. We must find the third. Looks like another victim. Spirit of compassion, and another murder victim. This one. A roof denied, eyes skim over, yet a world smudged in shadow, so beautiful. Find who he was. We've got a trail. Let's go. Hey, in the market for charms? I don't have any on me, but when the deal comes through, <laughs> the savings are shared with you.
charcoal drawings by someone named Evander. A world smudged in shadow. He drew Doctown's darkness, but also its light. All those I found, I held a hand as the light left. Do you know something about the murder victims? What connected them? Each was desperate. Each heard a whisper that tempted them, and each turned away. They defied the one who called them. The demons we saw were merely minions. Too late for these. But now I can watch and protect others. Something larger stirs, calling the desperate. I cannot see what. No, the hope you bring Dogtown thwarts it. And may you continue. The cat. Did Evander feed you? There you are. I haven't seen much of you lately. I was getting worried. Everything all right? Wait, that dagger. I've seen it before. Solus was using it at the ritual site. No, uh, before that. Shit, it can't be. Look at it, Rook. I have plenty, ever since it hurt Harding. Remember that story I told you about me and Hawk, Meredith and Orsino? How the trouble started in Kirkwall? On our expedition to the Deep Roads, that's what we found. That's what my brother tried to kill us for. An idol made of red lyrium. That sang a song which drove anyone who heard it mad. Are you sure it's the same thing? Oh, look at it. It's changed, but it's the same size. Same ring at the top. Not to mention, it's pure lyrium. No one, not even the dwarves in Orzammar, work pure lyrium like that. It's too dangerous. If that's true, if this dagger is the red lyrium idol from your story, how did Solus cleanse it of the blight? I, I have no idea. I can't believe you found it. Oh, hey, Rook. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You seem a little more comfortable with your new abilities. How are you feeling? Things are weird, but I'm adjusting, I think. That's not what I came in here for, though. All right, Harding. What's on your mind? So, the Wardens. I know some. A married couple Varric and I met while we were tracking Solus. I'd almost forgot about that. I really am getting too old for this shit. You think they'll talk to us? After the first warden and everything? It's worth a try. I can write them and hope. Okay. Let's see who's in our corner. Normally, my advice on befriending abominations would be to go.
one spirit who moves around, or different spirits who all look the same? As needed, Dweller. Right. The deeper currents. That cold. I felt it the moment the boat docked. Even Spite felt the chill. I did not know he could. Darkspawn, let's clear them out. Darkspawn are here. The blight on this island must be running wild. Then we'll just have to deal with it. <gasps> Over there. Another entryway. Like the one that took us to that soulless memory. There. It's happening again. We're in another of Solus's memories. Remember last time. The past really can still hurt you. Andaran Atishan. Lassa Gilan. Spirits. Fade friends, come forth. Enter the circle. Reveal yourselves. Solus. Whatever happened in this memory, he was personally involved. Spirits, the Dread Wolf asks for your assistance on a crucial mission. The false gods, the Evanuris, have overreached. I shall humble them. Within their citadel lies a relic, with the power to imprison even a god. With it, I can bring their tyranny to an end, forever. You are spirits of chaos, disorder, and disruption. We ask you to disrupt the Citadel's defenses. Give us the opening to get that relic. For freedom! Visions of the past. Solus sent these spirits out to fight the gods. We're spirits of disruption. Let's act like it. I already have one thing. I'm not pretending to be another. How did the wolf call up so many? Remember, they can hurt us. Stay sharp.
think we're through. The gods told us this fortress couldn't be breached! Their plans. Algernon may be a tyrant, but he is not a fool. That means the relic is genuine. We are close, and Algernon is afraid. But our strongest in the vanguard, prepare to breach the citadel. It will not be easy, but we shall win the day. Disruption, lead the charge and do what you do best. Whatever champions the gods send against you, bring them down. More of them. Death to all tyrants! Reinforcements! We need more reinforcements! You must hold fast! For victory! Disruption fought to the last, and it was all for nothing. We couldn't take the Citadel. Wait, that body's me? It was not for nothing, my friend. The distraction the spirits gave us allowed our agents to retrieve the relic. Distraction? No force could have breached their Citadel. But it was necessary for the enemy to believe we were committed. A heavy sacrifice. But one that gave us a real chance to end the war. You knowingly sent all those spirits to their deaths. Solus, we're supposed to be better than that. They died true to their nature, doing what they loved, Falasan. Let that be a comfort, that this war did not corrupt them into something different from what they were supposed to be. That's all it was. By this point, Solus didn't care who he sacrificed if it meant stopping the Evanuris. They did call him the god of lies and trickery. 
He was the villain in a lot of Dalish stories I've heard. Let's see what this fragment can tell us. Wardens Evka and Antoine answered our letter. They're willing to talk. In the middle of nowhere? Where the first warden won't notice. But if they don't listen... <sighs> Your distraction worked. Could have said it when we were farther away. Dizuli, I didn't say it was a good plan. Ah, you made it! Arding, we meet again. Antoine, Evka, you look well. And you must be Rook. Heard some colorful things about you. I know, but you showed up anyway. Well, your letter was... desperate. Uh, Harding? What? Aren't we desperate? Let's hear what you've got to say. The Elven Gods are changing the Blight. Darkspawn, too. There was a village, Demeta's Crossing. They overran it with the Blight in a snap. We saw the aftermath. Whatever they're planning, it's bad. And if it involves the Blight, we need Warden help. A change? Manipulation. That could explain. But... Uh, you believe me? That the Elven Gods are here, and... It's it's a lot to accept, but we've been looking into oddities with the Blight ourselves. It's altered. I can feel it. And your story... A lot lines up. Whatever you've heard from the First Warden, we're trying to help. Yeah, we're getting that. If the First Warden believes that village was an aberration... Or that it did not happen, as you say. We're not exactly the First Warden's favorites. Your word and our theories won't win the whole order. So what do we do? If the Darkspawn are changing, Davern might help. Even among Wardens, he's known as a monster hunter. He got pulled on a mission. Not sure what, but it's farther into the mountains. We can get you a rough location. I married someone with good advice. 
You find Davrin, and we'll keep after the Blight. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us if this works out. Travel safely. We'll be in touch. Well, I'd say we found the camp. So did some dark spawn, looks like. They left the fire burning. Were they ambushed? Hey there, no need to bite. He's young, still trying to work out what he likes to eat. Who are you? Rook. Evka and Antoine sent us. We're looking for Davrin. You found him. Mind telling me why you smell like Darkspawn? Griffins hunt Darkspawn. You've got bigger problems than us. We found Blight on the tent. What? Where are Lancet and Remy? The camp was empty when we got here. Hassan, to the trees! We can help. Try to keep up. He's caught a scent. Follow the squawks. I thought griffins were extinct. We want the world to think that. It's why we're training in the middle of nowhere. Hassan, don't get too far ahead. Doesn't sound like he agrees. If he even listens, has a mind of his own. He spotted something. Over there. Dead, Darkspawn. These are part of the training. Hassan was half right. There's no time for half wrong. Hassan, we're looking for live Darkspawn. He understands? Not sure he understands anything but dinner. Keep on it, Hassan. They're around here somewhere. How do we get up that? The Griffins have been training for this sort of thing. Let's see if Hassan was paying attention. Hassan, hit them! A useful trick. Did you teach him? No, Lance and Remy did. They're the Griffin Whisperers. So you're the bodyguard. Griffins are the Warden's greatest legacy. Someone has to protect them. Oh, 
Hold up. There's the dark spawn. Let's get in there. I hate these things. Everything about them is wrong. That's why it's a job for professionals. Remy, where are you hurt? Uh, everywhere. The monster came out of nowhere. Darkspawn were following it. Lance, it ran ahead. It's back? Davrin, remember. A light touch. A son still learning. You're the trainer. Not anymore. We have to keep going. Let's get through here. Those two statues are the spare key. Line up the symbols. What did you mean by it's back? Something's stalking Grey Wardens. We call it the Gloom Howler. I'm hunting it. it. Started happening seven, eight months ago. Darkspawn obey it. There's some kind of hold over them. Hassan, on me! No time for hide and seek, Hassan. This is real. Hassan, that's Elvin for Arrow. Elby grows into it. More darkspawn here. Lancet's trying to stop the Gloomhower. It's going after the other Griffins. More Griffins? Whole family. Hassan's brothers and sisters. The bridge is out. This place is falling apart. There's a ladder up there. That's our way through this.
That cannot be good. It's coming from the area. There's an elevator we can use to get up there. Dark spawn this bowl. Not unless there's a blight. There's a blight. The wardens told you this? I told them. But your first warden doesn't want our help. He's a stubborn one. What does this dark spawn want with Griefens? The real question's how it knows about them. Up until now, it only went after Wardens. Now it shows up here with a rabble of Darkspawn? These Griffins are a secret.
Darkspawn? What is this? Like I said, this blight's different. Everything's wrong. I can hear the other Griffins. Let's get in there. More Griffins. We have to get them out of there. Can't. Some kind of blood magic on these locks. It's okay, Highness. Calm down. You too, Rumtail. We'll come back for both of you. I'll be back for you. Don't worry, Big Tooth. We'll get you out. mine before that happens. And I'll collect, Warden, on both of you. No one needs to spill anyone's blood. We just want the Griffins. They were never yours.
There are only 13 griffins alive in Thetis. That monster just took 12 of them. What if we could help get them back? I'd ask. What's the catch? I need a monster hunter. For the blight to end all blights. The first warden agreed to this? The first warden is wasting time, treating this like any other blight. We can't wait for him to take action. Going against Weishaupt's orders? I don't have a choice. There are powerful mages behind all this, and we have to hunt them down. Well, you did save Asan back there, so you're no lightweight. And if you can help get the other griffins back... He likes the idea. He's hoping you brought food. All right. Come on, Asan. Let's get to know our new friends. So this is where you live, huh? In the Fade? Yeah, it's cozy. And the gods can't find us here. Right. Never going to get used to that. We'll find you and Asan a nice... Ruh. What's wrong? A lot. The Viper just sent word. Mirathus is under attack by a blighted dragon. Has to be the one we saw at Demetis Crossing. Well, one of them has to be. What do you mean, one of them? Taya also got in touch. Another dragon is attacking Treviso too. Mierda. You got back just in time. All right, what do we know? Two dragons at once has to be the gods behind it. Treviso's a merchant city. It has no defenses, and the canals run everywhere. If we don't stop that dragon, people will die. Innocent people. My people. They either die right away from the dragon, or slowly after, from blight in the water. We need to go to Treviso. And leave Minrathus to burn? Nev. The Shadow Dragons will fight right to the end of it. But we're the only ones keeping the Venatori in check. And if we fail, the Venatori will take advantage. They'll make a push for the throne and hand the gods the entire Tevinter Empire. Have we been able to talk to any of. Damn it! There's no time! I need to go home. I need to be in Minrathus. And I must go to Treviso. Go where you feel you must, Rook. We cannot wait. What's our move, Rook? We help Lucanus and Treviso. We have to trust that the Shadow Dragons can take care of things in Minrathus. That said, two of you should join Nev there, see if you can help. And we'll head to Treviso. Understood. Let's all try to make it through this alive, all right?
Listen, the dragon! The Antan brought it here somehow. They're fighting Cross and saying the dragon will break our meaningless resistance. Bastards! It's worse than I thought. How do we fight this? Let's find your crow friend. This. Someone has to stop it. Rook, you're just in time. Where the dragon attacks, the Antam soon follow. It is strong and fast. You must get its attention, then lure it onto the ground. We'll figure out a way. Throw up your courage. We will need it.
That was a close one. You fought it off. If Gilanane hadn't called it away... It's more important that it stopped attacking the city. Everyone with a home that still stands will agree. That thing was tough. It'll be hard to put down for good. What happened to Treviso would have been worse if you hadn't arrived when you did. I cannot imagine how much worse. Still have to help with that dragon in Minrathus. Let's go. We're here. What's the situation? Look around. I don't know where to start. Treviso's all right. Lucanus? We stopped the worst of it, even if we couldn't kill the dragon. The Venatori had a clear shot at the palace while we faced a dragon we could barely hurt. The Viper drew it away from a safe house and took a claw to the gut as thanks. A healer could fix the wound, but the blight's already in him. I know of magic that may slow the corruption. That'll give me some time. This is all you. The risen gods, the blight, the dragon. Now the city's lost to the Venatori. Rook isn't to blame. It is what it is. Uh, tension's a little high. You should go for now. I need to be here a while. See to things. <laughs> 